Is anybody else ready for them ring ding dongs of power? Even more power, so much power, rings of power. Whoa, daddy, that's right. We're going to talk about Rings of Power Season 2. There was a trailer that dropped. And I'm not so much interested in the actual trailer itself because I watched it and I was like, man, do I really care? Not that much because it just looks like more of the same garbaggio. But what we did have was some uh, some hot takes, some reactions. So I just want to talk about a little bit. There were some funny takes online that I was interested in. Now, for those of you who really actually cared about Rings of Power, which I think there are a few of you, I want to remind everybody that only something like 23% or 30% of the people who watched Ring of Power, the first episode, continued along with it. Because, you know, internal logic on this was broken. You know, uh, when you think about it, well, first of all, the funny thing is, is that Amazon had the rug pulled out from under them because they bought the appendices and then could then proceeded to try to build something from the Similarium, which they didn't have the rights to. Screwed up all the lore, as I've been told by Nerd Roddick and, and um, just some guy over and over again. Now, I have read The Lord of the Rings at least somewhere between seven or eight times, and I've read The Hobbit. I read the Similarian once, and uh, I, I would it's like reading the Bible over and over again. It's, it's a little much. But I did, obviously, I'm a big Lord of the Ring fan. But this, I, I, I couldn't tell you what age anything was in. I don't know the lore well enough to know that it's broken. But what I do know is when internal logic to a show is broken. So when I, when I can see that you know Galadriel, the strongest whammon in the entire all of Gondor everywhere the shire when she you know jumps in the ocean and, and swims across the entire ocean i go mm, doesn't make a lot of sense there or uh, i'm trying to think what were the other parts where that were like really oh yeah when she takes a pyroclastic flow from a volcano in the face and lives i mean i know that the elves are immortal but they clearly die when they get stabbed and things so i don't think they're going to take a uh, flow from a volcano in the face and then when you think about the entire plot of the actual show, do I care about the origin story of Mount Doom? I kind of just assume that Sauron was like, hey, there's this volcano, and it seems like a great place for me to live. I'm just going to live there. I never gave it a second thought. Little did I know that Mount Doom was handcrafted by orcs so that Sauron could live there. Now, the hot. Uh, let's just take a look real quick. Here's the Rotten Tomatoes for those of you who forget the first season 83% by the critics, 38% by the fans. Fans did not like it. And like I said, most people did not finish it. It, you know, had a big premiere, but when people realized, like, I don't know what this is, this is garbage as far as I'm concerned. They didn't even tell you whether or not the wizard in it was Gandalf, like, because they have to hide a big giant secret. How many bearded skinny men do you think are in the Lord of the Rings? As far as I understand, there's like two. Well, maybe three, but the one is white bearded and his name is Sauron, right? And then there's Gandalf. Like we've only met like two or three wizards in the entire thing. Like come on, people. I don't I'm not supposed to know it's Gandalf, right? But clearly the audience didn't like it. But some of the hot takes have been kind of interesting and and slightly funny because they already gave away who Sauron is, and uh, that seems kind of funny because that means that Galadriel is going to get tricked yet again because Sauron is back. And again, I guess Charlie Vickers is reprising his role as Sauron, even though I had heard he'd been recast, so who the heck knows what's going on here. Uh, it seems like they've been hiding the... The trailer, like it's it, the the show's coming out August second. We haven't heard anything about it till today. This season will return to J.R.R. Tolkien's second age, and I can't tell you how many people have told me that all this lore is broken. But here's the official description: In the season two of Rings of Power, Power Sauron has returned, cast out by Galadriel. I feel like he just walked out on his own accord after she realized she was tricked. 
without army or ally, I'm fairly sure he has an army at the end of it because they made him Mount Doom. Why did the orcs make Mount Doom if it wasn't for Sauron to live there? They made it because they felt like it? Was it some sort of weapon of mass destruction that they just weren't telling people about? I do not know, but I am concerned that he has no army or ally. The rising Dark Lord must now rely on his own cunning to rebuild his strength and oversee the creation of the Rings of Power. Didn't he already oversee, like, the first rings that were made? So they're just going to let him back in and be like, Yeah, bro, come on, make some more rings. It's all good. He's going to get tricked twice by Galadriel. Wow. She must be pretty stupid. Um, which will allow him to... Uh, it's the creation of the Rings of Power, which will allow him to bind all peoples of Middle-earth to his sinister will. We don't even know what his character motivation is. Like... Why? I don't need one for Sauron. Like, why? I, it's so it's stupid. Building on season one's epic scope and ambition. So epic, so much scope, so much ambition. The new season plunges even its most beloved and vulnerable characters into a rising tide of darkness. You know, the characters that all live in the Lord of the Rings, the movies that happen after this. You know, Galadriel and Elrond Hubbard, and all those other people who are going to live. You know, Gandalf, who they all have plot armor because this is a prequel. Oh my gosh, it's the brink of calamity with elves and dwarves and orcs and men, wizards and Harfoots. Yes, because I, I care uh, so deeply about the Harfoots. They claim that is the most watched premiere and cumulatively resulted in 32 billion minutes streamed. That's a lot of minutes, but I suspect that's not as many hours. Like, they don't want to admit what it is. On top of all this, Warner Brothers, not Amazon, announced it has its own new Lord of the Rings movie titled The Hunt for Gollum, which is set during Tolkien's Second Age and being brought back by original trilogy director Peter Jackson in a producing role. Why? Why would you do that? I don't understand. How much money does Peter Jackson need? I feel like he doesn't need more unless the government of New Zealand is collapsing upon the lack of Lord of the Rings merchandise and franchising. I just I don't get it. This seems like a big FU to Amazon. The bigger FU is just Lord of the Ring, uh, Rings of Power itself because everyone's just making fun of it now it's and if you remember this is a little bit of revisionist history where all the critics were like oh my god it's so amazing i love it so much yet then when they look back at it they're like yeah there were some struggles there. The little pacing's not great and, you know galadriel's like a total woman boss awesomeness awesome sauce well now you've got uh articles like this where it's the Rings of Power Season 2 make... Why did they make Sauron look like that? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe that this guy forged a magical ring that subjugated all of Middle-earth. This guy. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is a hysterical because I guess it's the same actor, but if you think about it... Take a look here. He's got his face, right? And then he's he's got his eyes, but then he has like a double forehead, Right? His entire forehead is like two foreheads. So he's got a forehead stacked on another forehead. There's his forehead, but then he's got like a hat of hair that is stacked above it. And I do not understand why it is like that. It's very disturbing. I do not like it. And he's no hot elf in my... I, I just I don't understand. What am I looking at here? Why are we doing this? It's very disturbing. So this whole thing just I, I just I just don't get it. I, I don't know what they're going for here. They already had Halbrand who was like the sexy dude. Now they're making him the non sexy dude. So I, I just don't understand what they're doing here. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you into this? Are you out of this? What do you want to do? How do you feel about it? I am very confused. And uh, it's it's bizarre, and it just I will hate watch it if you want me to. I believe I reviewed all of the episodes, so be sure to check this out and catch our live stream. It's on Friday night, seven thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can get just live stream there. It's uh, a lot of fun. You'll enjoy. Please join the channel, like and subscribe, hit the bells and whistles because we do love you. 
And thank you for listening, but I'm on to the next one.